Hi, so this is the update on my... <sighs> this is the update on my surrogacy journey. I mean, it's done, you know? <laughs> so remember, I made that video yesterday about, you know, feeling scammed and um, uh, the things don't add up. Well, today they got their anatomy scan, which is like their second ultrasound. So they would be like halfway there. They're like 19, 20 weeks. And then so it started kind of weird already. So they got in, they're, they're in the Philippines. So they they went to, um, they signed up at the, at the ultrasound clinic around 10, 11. And then they sent me pictures of them. They're eating right here, whatever. I'll post a picture. They were in Jollibee. And then they didn't get back to me until like 3 p.m. And I thought that was already kind of weird because the last time they did that, there was something up. So, <clears throat> lo and behold, of course, um, something was off. The first picture they sent me was this, okay? So this picture, it was a picture of a TVS ultrasound. And they said there's a baby there. And then there's the heartbeat whatsoever. And then um, they send me another one of another ultrasound and then with some something, whatever. And I'll put that here also. And then the weird part was, or what already made me very doubtful was the fact that when I asked for a closer picture, a closer shot of any of these, they had a hard time giving it to me. They kept you know, if I want a close shot, it means like I want it this close, right? But they kept sending it from this far. So like um, the date, the name, just the info, the numbers were all kind of blurry. And the only thing you can see is like um, the ultrasound image, but none of like the statistics. And so I was like, why are you guys having a hard time just giving me a close up? Like put your phone like this closer. Why is that a hard time? And that's when I realized also that they were two different um, people, two different results, two different ultrasounds. I compared the two pictures, right? One has, the first one they sent me is like a completely different name, a completely different date, and just the due date and everything was off about it. And this was the first one they sent me claiming that this is my supposed child with a completely different name, date, age, and weeks. To, and they sent me this other one which had her name right here that's her name i'm not gonna put it, it begins with an e <laughs> and this one basically showed nothing they tried to pass it off as theirs and i'm like and what bothers me was yes the surrogate the fact that she tried to pull this bothers me but also my partner who went along with it that's like the ultimate betrayal in my opinion that's that's like the ultimate betrayal in my opinion because knowing how important this is to me. But, um, so yeah, I had a, a talk with them and now they're saying that they're gonna go and do it again. But at this point, is there's no point because it's clear over here, this Jabilo person, their result is like completely different, you know? <laughs> they're like 11 weeks our surrogate is supposed to be, or my surrogate, past surrogate, this one was supposed to be 19 to 20 weeks, you know? Just everything off was a, everything was a off, you know? And then apparently the one who took their ultrasound said she wasn't pregnant, which is weird. Like she's not pregnant at all, but she keeps getting positive pregnancy tests. I don't know if that's a thing, but um, she, they showed another positive pregnancy test and I'll put that over here. So, it's really quite strange in my opinion and so sad because you know we're we're supposed to be half i was supposed to be halfway through having a kid you know like soon but it's not gonna happen which you know i'm like should i really feel myself in this state but you know i i mean it's real and maybe it's good for content and for views because that's all I'll get out of this, you know? I sold my stuff. I lost my job. Just 
so I can have a shot at this. And um, it's fine. I don't, I don't like working there anymore. Like, I mean, it, it was all right, but I'm ready to move on anyway to like a different part of life, obviously. But um, yeah, so I guess be wary when you believe in people, one, but also this whole surrogacy journey. Maybe you should just go through the 200K <laughs> that they're trying to charge you, you know, to, but at least, you know, you'll have it and it's, a, you know, it's sure. And maybe the heartbreak and the betrayal would not be this bad. <laughs> But what am I doing after this? Um, I think I'm going to focus on school. I'm going back to school and then um, work, you know, pay off whatever I need to pay off with this whole thing. Um, and then try again, maybe in a year. Um, you know, those two people that scammed me, I'm going to call it scammed. <laughs> they'll get what's coming to them, you know, karma. Or I don't even know about karma anymore because look how far they got, you know, they got they were supported by me this whole time and you know and they're still sitting pretty so i don't know i don't care what i'm glad is i didn't sell my jewelry you know my minimal jewelry <laughs> can't wait to add a ring and then um yeah i'm healthy so i can have a baby i mean i didn't risk that and i'm not gonna stop until i have until I have a child, right? So, for now, for now, thank you guys for watching. My sir, thank you guys for following my surrogacy journey, even though it was short lived. It was only like, what, a few months? A couple of months? Well, whatever, several months. And, um, you know, it's just part of it, right? But the important thing is don't give up. And, um, I'll see you guys later.